everybody. Welcome, welcome, everybody. <laughs> are we on delay time? <laughs> How are you today? Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze, where we try things from everywhere. It's a whiskey day. Everywhere. Everywhere. We are trying this whiskey from Members Maker. Members Maker is the name of the distillery. Never heard of it in my life. I didn't even know this was even produced until Alex brought it. Isn't that Sam's Club? <laughs> it's Sam's Club. It's their blended scotch whiskey from Sam's Club. And I should have thought Costco has their Kirkland's. Sam would have their own. But I never thought they did. But yes, they do. So she picked this up for us. And we're going to try it. It comes in this handle. 175 comes in at a whopping $20.93. So that's pretty on par with um, Kirkland. the Kirklands. It's 40% or 80 proof. No age statement on this. It's blended. But they do say it's a blend of Highland, Speyside, and Islay. Hmm. So it's going to have the smoothness of a Highland. A little smoky pee. And a little smoky of the Speyside. For those of you that don't know, Sam's Club is a big box store, um, better known for their non-membership stores of Walmart. And the Kirkland's wasn't too bad, so... Not too bad. I like their blended. Their 12 was okay. I didn't like their 23-year. We'll see how this goes then. See. And we're back. Had a little sneeze. A little sneeze. So, that wasn't little. <laughs> blended scotch whiskey from Members Maker or Sam's Club. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna put this price at a five because we always write things on the ones on the seven fifties, so it's gonna drop it below. No, it'll still be a four. I'm so sorry. You are right. Did that help any? No, the water didn't really change it at all. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 All right, so uh, Maker's Mark Blended Scotch Whiskey, it's a 40% 80 proof at $20.98. That's a four barrel on the cost. Aroma, we're each giving it a three. What you got for aroma here? It's, there's a little bit of smoky, but it's not like, it's very like, I don't know. Okay. It doesn't jump out at you at all or anything. So for the first time, really, I'm getting an aroma that is very typical with scotches that I've never gotten before, and that's the smell of tobacco. I'm getting strong tobacco, a little maple initially. Just yeah, I got initially, the maple. But I'm not really getting it anymore. I probably need to. Yeah, there it is. Um, and slight vanilla. I'm giving it a three. You're giving it a three. Flavor. You gave it a three. How come? It's, you can taste the space side just barely. Okay. It's very, I'm trying to think of the word I want to say. It's very, it's kind of mild. It just, it is very mild. 
and it doesn't have a lot of pronounced like a lot of scotches i mean hit you yeah this one is just very smooth and okay it is very smooth mild um i'm getting uh a little bit of the smoke not a lot paint. not though. a lot but i'm getting a lot of the tobacco this yeah. tastes like an ashtray to me i don't get the ashtray i think maybe yeah. like a to me since you said that with the tobacco i'm kind of smelling like a unsmoked cigar now okay. that you said that um i give it a three for bite you give it a four you don't see much of a bite the after lingering pepperness is still there for me so that's a 12 for me which is a strong three or a straight three i actually want to penalize it but you're giving it a 14 so three and a half so we're going to keep it at a three to me and i apparently maggie agrees with me i'm at a party tons of people are there i pick my drink up and i'm drinking i'm going something's wrong and i look down and there's a cigarette butt in there which yeah. has happened many times at parties but that's to me i don't i don't know I would choose Kirkland over this any day. Yeah, I just don't get that smoke tobacco right. flavor. I do. However, I will say, like Kirkland, I like their blended, I like their 12, I don't like their 23. So I'm thinking that if Sam's Club has different ages, and we live in a state that doesn't sell stuff, and I don't have a Sam's membership or Costco, but if I go to another state, and I'm with somebody with a Sam's Club, I'm going to want to go in, see what they have, because maybe they have a 12-year, 18-year, 20-year. Or a Highlander. And or want to explore it because they're different. Um, so I don't know. And then, you know, Sam's Club has rum and Irish whiskey and bourbon. So I do, or uh, Costco does Kirkland. So I do want to explore Sam's Club. I never really thought that they would have any. So this is going to be a new... Um, kind of search for me because uh, Cody does have a Sam's Club membership so we go places that are out of our state, Texas to places that do sell alcohol. He, he and I will definitely stop by to see what they have because 20 bucks can't beat 20 bucks uh, I don't know how I would drink this, probably I don't know I'll have to explore if maybe Alex on keeps the rocks it here. or something yeah, maybe on the rocks Maybe with some sort of cocktails, but to me, the, the tobacco is offsetting for me. I just can't get beyond it. It's so strong in my nose. Uh, I don't know. I got a three, so it's not too bad. Eh. So leave a comment below. What do you think about members, makers in general, this particular uh, blended scotch? Uh, tell us if you've had an experience of between Kirkland and this and what you think. Uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all of our merchandise. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is good whiskey. And I used to have a Sam's Club membership, but I don't remember if they have this, so I don't know. <laughs> you just had to put that out there. Cheers. Laters. <laughs> I can always... Leave it up to you to bring out something after we close the video. And one more.